Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain on how to make a green sand molds into a casting process. So let us start with the, some of the introductions about green sand molds. So basically for making a green sand molds, it will be having a proper mixture. For making a green sand molds, it will be having a silica sand that will be around 85 to 92 percentage. Used bentonite as a binder which will be containing with a 6 to 12 percentage with a water around 3 to 5 percentage and additives are mixed together to prepare the green sand mixture. So now just we will see the different steps it will be to make a green sand mold. So for here the pattern which will be placed onto a flat surface with the drag box that will be enclosing it. So just you can see into this figure this is our flat surface and this rectangular box it will be considering as a pattern. So now it will be resting onto that surface and this pattern now it will be enclosing by a drag. Then after just you can see the parting sand that will be sprinkled onto that particularly pattern surface to avoid for a green sand mixer that will be sticking onto that pattern. So that will be not damaging the pattern as well as that will be not sticking with the patterns. Now after this sprinkling the parting sands just you can see into the next steps the drag box which will be filled with a green sand mixture and rammed manually till its top surface. So just you can see all that free space or you can say into a drag box which will be filled by a green sand. Then after the drag box now it will be inverted. So what happens? The pattern faces at the top side. So just you can see into this figure C. By the inverting of this drag box now pattern surface it will be onto a top side. So what? The parting sand is sprinkled over a mold surface of the drag box. Then after in case of the green sand molds, just you can see the cob box is placed onto the top of the drag box. So now into the bottom side that will be the drag box. It will be filled with a green sand as well as with a pattern. Now it will be covered by a cob or you can see that cop and drag that will be separating by a parting line. So this one is our parting lines. So what happens by the placing of the cop box onto the top of the drag box and the sprue and riser pin are placed at a suitable locations. So just you can see that will be our sprue mechanisms. So at the top side it will be the sprue basins or you can say pouring basin. So the molten form of the metals which will be pouring from the sprue and that will be having a some getting component system design and fill with the cavity and that another side it will be the riser. But initially just you can make a passage for the sprue and a riser. Then the green sand mixer is rammed to the level of the cob box just you can see into the figure. Then after the next steps and that will be the sprue and the riser are removed from the mold. The cob box is lifted and placed aside and the pattern is the drag box that will be withdrawing by the knocking it carefully as to avoid the damage to the mold. So just you can see from this the pattern now it will be removing so it will be making a cavity. Just you can see at both the side from that patterns it will be making the getting systems. So this getting systems it will be directly connected with these sprue systems. And another side that will be the another get and it will be connected with a riser. So the gets are cut using the hand tools to provide the passage for the flow of a molten metal. Then after in case of the green sand the mold cavity is clean and finished. Coarse if 
required so that will be placing into the mold cavity if there will be the requirement of the hollow castings so the core is being used so just you can see into the figure we are making a hollow castings so this core which will be placed into the mold cavity so that will be also considering as a vertical core so that will be easily placing into the mold cavity so as from the complexity of the shape and size it will be utilization of the different cores so here that will be the vertical you should also use a horizontal then key score then hanging course as per my requirements now that will be the cop that being placed onto the drag and vent holes that will be also made for escaping the hot gases during the pouring of the molten form of the metal so now just you can see this is our drag portion which will be connected with the help of pin with a cop and here that will be the sprue and another side that will be the riser so molten form of the metal which will be fill into the mold cavity and through the riser you can ensuring that the 100% filling of the mold cavity so now the cope is now placed onto the drag box and both are aligned with the help of the pins some vent holes are made to allow the free escape of the gases from the mold during the molten metal is being pouring so the mold is made ready for pouring just you can see into last figure then for this there is some advantages like green sand molding is adaptable to machine molding then second no mold backing or drying is being required then there is less mold distortions than in any dry sand molding process then time and cost associated with mold backing or you can say drying is eliminated then more thing like green sand molds having a smaller depths permits the escape of the mold gases that will be without any difficulties in green sand moldings flask are ready for reuse in minimum amount of the time being soft green sand molds do not restrict the free contractions of the solidifying molten metals that is also one of the advantages of this process to making a green sand mold green sand molding provides good dimensional accuracy across the parting line now we will discussing for some of the disadvantages that will be associated with green sand molds and that will be green sand molds process lower strength into a casting process then they are less permeable then there are more chance to defects like a blow holes into the castings occurring into the by a green sand moldings then in green sand moldings the sand control is more critical than into a dry sand moldings mold erosion is a very common especially in the productions of the large size of the castings surface finish deteriorates as the weight of the castings that being increased dimensional accuracy of the castings decreases as their weight is being increased so i hope you understand this for a green sand molding process if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching